Hi everyone, here we are again with a new video. I am a little late for this one, but I will try to cover everything related to SpaceX. So, let's get into it. Yesterday, SpaceX rolled out its first orbital super heavy booster to the launch pad. Booster 7 spent a few weeks inside the Mega Bay receiving robustness upgrades. Booster 7 arrived at the launch pad in the morning. After a few hours, it was moved to near the orbital launch mount and is now put in a lifting position between the chopstick arms. We are expecting to see a fully stacked Starship with S-24 on top of Booster 7 before Monday. A possible road closure schedule is posted for Monday on the Cameron County website. Here is a list of things SpaceX has still to achieve before the first ever Starship orbital test flight. First, they will conduct a full wet dress rehearsal, followed by 33 engine static fire of Booster 7. All these things can happen in a matter of days or a few weeks, not months. So, we are about to see a Starship fly to space for the first time really soon, provided no issues come up with the Raptor engines. Of course, FAAS launch license is still required but aren't you guys excited? On Friday evening, SpaceX's Crew-5 successfully docked to the International Space Station after coasting for about 27 hours in orbit. This marked SpaceX's seventh successful delivery of astronaut missions to the ISS. Now there are 11 people living on the space station, and Crew-4 is preparing to return home next week on October 13 after undocking from the station a day earlier. If you are missing Falcon Heavy launches, the wait may be finally over. Three years after the last Falcon Heavy mission, SpaceX will launch United States Space Force's USS F-44 mission this month. USS F-44 is a classified mission with two payloads on board the world's most powerful rocket in operation. After several delays due to the unreadiness of the payloads, liftoff is now tentatively scheduled for October 28 from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And finally, before we end the video, let's look at Rocket Lab's latest mission. It Argos up from here mission launch General Atomics's Gazelle satellite carrying Argos 4 atop an electron rocket from Pad B at Launch Complex 1. It was Rocket Lab's 31st overall successful launch, and the company's 8th launch of the year. Lately, Rocket Lab has been picking up some pace in the launch industry. Congratulations to the Rocket Lab team. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the short update. Not to miss any space-related news, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching.